Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait. May the force be with you. How was that? Perfect. Is the Orville season four going to happen? Now that season three is over, you're probably asking yourself, so what happens now? It's been three years and three months since Seth MacFarlane was given a green light to give us a third season of The Orville. The wait was long, interrupted by a pandemic and production delays, before finally airing on June 2nd of this year. The finale that gave us a Claire and Isaac wedding and what felt like an ending to the series was only a few short weeks ago, and we oddly find ourselves in the same place we've been before. It was just at this time, after the season two finale of The Orville, we were wearing out the carpet, pacing the floors, praying for a third season. Growing concern over whether there would even be a third season prompted us to start the fan movement Operation Orville Pickle Delivery, where fans sent jars of pickles to the Fox lot. So when Deadline announced the Orville was indeed renewed for a season three nearly a month after the show ended, the pacing stopped and the celebrating began. That's what I'm talking about right there on that So here we sit once again. Season three is over and we are waiting for Disney to decide if the Orville is valuable enough for a season four. While it was pickles for season three, this time we opted early for a fan petition at renewtheorville.org to get Disney and McFarland's attention. Fans want a fourth season, but was it enough to move the needle? Did enough people tune into Hulu and Disney Plus to watch the show and convince the mouse there is a future for one of our favorite futuristic shows? Hooray! My apologies. Sometimes I get carried away in the moment. Seth wants a season four. The actors want a season four. The production team wants a season four and the fans want the show to come back as well. So what happens now? What is happening behind the scenes that can tell us if season four will happen? What is the calendar of events we can expect and how soon will we know? Based on what we've learned and what we are about to share with you, we believe an answer will come quickly. But will it be the answer we want? You don't want to miss this episode. Also, make sure you stay tuned until later in the show, where we'll show you why Brilliant will change your learning experience forever. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And give us a thumbs up if you want more inside knowledge about your favorite shows. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome USS Orville-inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTease.com. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. Do you want to bang Derulio? Bang, be banged? Why are you so hung up on labels, man? What? The current official response for a season four renewal comes from Seth MacFarlane himself. He gives season four a 50-50 chance right now, but there are a few caveats that go with that. But let's explore them in a moment. The first thing everyone needs to understand is that the Orville's performance on Hulu wasn't enough to convince executives it was worthy of a fourth season. Oh my God. I can't believe this. How is this happening? If it had been, renewal news would have been buzzing immediately. Instead, with two episodes left to air for season three, it was McFarlane who announced at San Diego Comic-Con that the Orville New Horizons would be airing on Disney Plus starting August 10th. We'll be going up on Disney Plus starting August 10th. And that is what we call a fishing expedition. While there is no public data on how many people were watching The Orville on Hulu, this is an indication that the numbers likely weren't as good as they wanted. With all three seasons on Hulu, there is no reason to rush The Orville to Disney Plus right away unless you need to test it in front of a larger audience. Hulu's 45.6 million subscribers reported earlier this year dwarfs Disney Plus's recently reported 152 million subscribers. It's a large test market, and the quick move to test the Orville there means a couple of important things. While it didn't do well on Hulu, Disney executives think they may have an excellent product on their hands that might keep subscribers coming back to the platform for years to come. The time for Disney to make a decision is critical, but we'll explore that in just a moment. So how many views is enough? There's a good chance Seth MacFarlane isn't even sure. 
Vulture.com recently shared a story from an FX series creator streaming on Hulu. He was told his show was doing good, not great. Then all of a sudden they said his numbers were bad and he was notified they were canceling his show. He said he was given an opportunity to see graphs, but not graphs with numbers on them. He couldn't tell if they had 400,000 viewers or 3 million viewers. All he was told is it wasn't enough. He will most likely fail in this attempt. All kidding aside. This isn't exactly what's happening to McFarlane and the Orville, but it's a reminder that the good old days of Nielsen ratings are gone, and viewer numbers are as big of a secret as the Colonel's recipe. If Disney doesn't renew the Orville, it will prove they care more about numbers than quality. The 10 episodes of season three of the Orville were each like feature length mini movies, and it's easy to see McFarlane and the entire Orville production team poured their hearts and souls into the show. Don't just take our words for it. Look at how the Orville season three ranks against Obi-Wan Kenobi, both critically and with audiences. And we know how much Disney loves that show. How about Halo over at Paramount Plus? Or Wheel of Time over at Amazon? Yes, both of those shows got a second season on their platforms. So where is the Orville love? Yeah, I know, awkward situation. Disney isn't dealing with a fledgling show awkwardly trying to find its way. No, the Orville has had three strong seasons and one could argue McFarlane is at the top of his game. And you may as well be happy for me instead of acting like a total bitch. So numbers aside, as much as the Orville is loved, why didn't it get an immediate renewal? And why is Disney in such a big hurry to test the Orville on its platform to find out if it's worth renewing? It's because they're running out of time. But before we tell you why Disney is running out of time with the Orville, let me quickly tell you why you're going to love this video's sponsor, Brilliant. Learning is a lifelong process, and when you're expanding your horizons, why sit through boring lecture videos when you can have hands-on interactive problem solving? We need versatility when we want to learn new things, and this is why we use Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing tool for learning STEM interactively, which is the best way to learn. No one is going to drop success into your lap. You have to go out there and fight for yourself, and Brilliant will be with you every step of the way. See math and science in a new way. Learn at your own pace, learn on the go, and learn something new. Achieve success both personally and professionally with STEM learning on Brilliant. When we wanted to improve our business math skills, we opened up Brilliant and took their everyday math course, which gave us new perspectives on foundational math topics like percentages, fractions, and basic geometry. Using Brilliant is so incredibly easy. It's visually stimulating, fun, hands-on, in a low-pressure environment and you can get started right now for free. To get started, visit brilliant.org slash thepopcast or click on the link in the description below. The first 200 will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium membership. Whether you're 10 or 110, join the more than 10 million people excelling in math and science today thanks to Brilliant. Attention, please. You will be silent! Disney knows the window of opportunity to renew the Orville is going to be small. If you aren't convinced the move to put the Orville on Disney Plus is a test, then ask yourself how many other Hulu shows are on Disney Plus. Then take a look on Twitter and look at how many members of the Orville team from Seth all the way down to the production crew tweeted out to go watch the Orville on Disney Plus starting August 10th. Seth himself hinted to TV Line that Disney Plus could be the deciding factor for a renewal. Why didn't Disney give Hulu time to crunch the numbers and see if people showed up to watch the show in August or September before considering a move to Disney Plus? Yeah, just right the perfect. Yeah, sorry, you were just very weirdly framed. It was all I could focus on. Anyway, what is it you want? We think it's because they can't wait if they want to renew it. The Orville was on Disney Plus only six days after the finale, and that's because despite all of the willingness to keep doing the Orville, the show already has one foot out the door. Forget the fact that Scott Grimes said season three would most likely be the last season of the Orville back in May 2021. Most likely the last season because we're kind of wrapping it up. And then hopefully... Or that Adrian Palicki said season three would be the final season later that year in October. And it is our oh, wow. final season. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll miss everyone. That right or wrong, it's obvious that conversations about season three being the end were happening, 
and actors were comfortable enough to make it public knowledge. Would anyone have held it against Seth if he came in and killed season three and then rode off into the sunset? It would have been a disappointment for fans, but if McFarlane killed it and the Orville was fantastic, he could check mark the box next to his Star Trek fantasy and move on to bigger and better things. Could this be what Seth was thinking and why the actors were saying season three would be the last? There is no doubt he gave season three of the Orville everything he had in him, and he should be proud of it. But let's not forget that a lot has happened with Seth since season three was given the green light. Seth locked up a $200 million five-year deal with NBC Universal after sources indicated Disney bowed out of the McFarlane sweepstakes when they heard he wanted $40 million annually and wasn't interested in doing another animated show. We now return to the Orville on Fox. NBC sweeped in three months before the pandemic and closed the nine-figure deal with Disney's longtime superstar. Then in June 2021, amidst conversation that season three would be the final season of The Orville, McFarlane announced a new TED TV series that would be direct to streaming on Peacock. I like to do to her. Something I call a dirty fuzzy. Seth's deal with NBC wouldn't keep him from continuing to do the Orville, but with him producing, writing, and directing the new TED series, it wouldn't be easy to do both. Not to mention he is still producing American Dad, <laughs> Yes, I'm done singing. Family Guy, as well as serving as an executive producer on both The End Is Nigh and a Good Times animated series of the 1970s sitcom for Netflix. It isn't that Seth can't do the Orville, but the question is, does he have the time? In his recent interview with TV Line, he said it himself. There's some trickiness in making another season, but look, the actors are the easy part. The trickier part is, how do I work everything else that's going on now? I will say that I get as emotionally invested in the show as any of the fans, so I will find a way to do it if there is a season four. So perhaps this is a part of the reason why Disney is having a hard time pulling the trigger. Remember, they balked at Seth's $40 million a year talent price tag, and it's not as if McFarlane is going to want to go cheap on a season four after unleashing the hounds on season three. The Mouse's quickness to test the series on Disney Plus could be to make a decision before Seth can add even more to his plate. They will expect as much passion and drive from him for season four as they got from season three. Hooray! Hooray for you! Hooray! Enough! Find it! And then there's one other huge thing to consider. The USS Orville is sitting in a huge soundstage on the 21st century Disney lot, and every day they aren't committed to the Orville is another day they can't shoot something else there because the Union's flagship is taking up real estate. There's also the small matter of the cast and crew no longer being under contract for the series and looking for work doing other things. If the show is planning to be renewed, everyone will need to know soon before scheduling becomes too difficult. Because if they strike the set, that will be the end of the Orville on Disney. Could it pop up somewhere else in a few years? Yes, Seth owns the rights to the Orville and could take it to NBC if they wanted it. But if that happens, it will be years before we see the Orville crew together and current storylines would likely be lost. No, Disney has a difficult decision to make here and they don't have a lot of time to make it. Every new person who watches the show on Disney Plus is pushing us to a hopeful renewal and with perhaps a month or two at the most to test the waters, how is that looking? Okay, <laughs> groove eh. Thanks to a little help from Orville superfan John A. Reed and a creative ranking program over at Flix Patrol, we've been able to track the Orville's success since it was launched on Disney+. Plus. The Orville came out of the gate ranked 8 in the Disney Plus top 10 streaming shows and has climbed to as high as the 4th position on multiple days. As of this video and the release of She-Hulk, the Orville is ranked 6 out of 10 on the trending page. The number is impressive considering Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and The Simpsons are basically unstoppable ahead of them. If the Orville can remain on the Disney Plus trending page over the next month or two, that is going to be a great sign for a renewal. But the event you really want to pay attention to is on October 25th, the Saturn Awards. 
the Orville will be facing off for best streaming science fiction series against The Expanse, Mankind, The Mandalorian, Star Trek Discovery, and Star Trek Strange New Worlds. If The Orville can come out on top and continue to trend on the platform, Disney will have no choice but to give The Orville at least one more season, if not more. One way or the other, we should know the fate of The Orville by Halloween. What? I, uh... Yeah, totally. If you love the Orville and want Disney and Seth to make more of it, make sure you continue tweeting hashtag renew the Orville and sign the petition to renew the Orville at renewtheorville.org. Now is the time for fans to be loud and visible, showing how much they love and respect the show. Seth wants to keep going, the cast and crew want to keep going, the fans want to keep going. Come on, Disney, let the Orville keep exploring the 25th century. Renew a show where the writing is good and the characters are loved. I'd like that a lot. What do you think? Should Disney renew the Orville or was season three enough? If this is it, which character will you miss the most and why? What did you like most about the third season? What would you have done differently? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, support the channel and check out this incredible USS Orville-inspired graphic design. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. Your head is very smooth and very sensuous.